So today it was a great pleasure to discuss about the EU tourism transition pathway. I was discussing also last year about uh, this subject. Yes, tourism is uh, very affected by COVID crisis, by the rising of the prices in uh, energy, by the war that we have in Europe. But uh, and we we feel that in a way we are for a long time in transition. But at this moment, I think tourism needs from the part of the European institution clear action. So uh, my conclusion is very clear as a representative of the private sector right now, but also as a former representative of the legislative sector of European institution, we need a clear strategy for European tourism. We need a uh, EU budget line for tourism. And also we need to be very clear with implementing this strategy because I saw many documents, many action plans, many agenda, agendas. But right now, tourism need action. Oof, it's not a, at all a, a easy question because there are many challenges. I was mentioning also in my previous answer that uh, tourism was affected by the COVID crisis. In fact, it was the most affected industry. It's also affected by the war um, that we have in Europe about the rising uh, prices of the energy. But in the same time, after facing so many crises and uh, facing this uncertainty, I think the travelers are having a big will to travel and to have travel experiences all over the world. And uh, also, I think the companies now with uh, the involvement of uh, new technologies, uh, innovation, digital tools, blockchain technology, the, the, the tourist companies have all the tools to grow, to develop, to revolutionize this industry. And I think we should take into consideration this opportunity. And I'm so happy to, to meet here with all the International Tourism Association, with the uh, uh, technology providers for the travel and tourism industry with um, the serv service touristic providers with everybody and it's very important that this event is integrating the entire world and the the old players uh, in the tourism industry from the public to the private sector from the decision makers to the stakeholders so this is a big opportunity, not only general speaking about tourism, but this event and events like this are a big opportunity for tourism to grow and to, to still be one of the most important industries of the world. I am a former member of the European Parliament and I organize in European Parliament more than 40 events. I'm also organizing high level events and summits related to tourism and travel. And uh, I'm coming here for the second time. And I, I first of all, I want to say that this year, the event is better organized, uh, has uh, more added value than the next year. So I like the, uh, the fact that it's growing bigger and bigger. It's essential because I was mentioning and anticipating in my previous question, because it's bringing all the players together. And uh, you have the opportunity to connect with everybody, to make networking, which is very important for our industry, even to educate, to, to find the latest news about the industry, and of course to make business, because this is uh, what, uh, what uh, in the end, uh, all the economic sectors of the world uh, have as a principal aim. So um, big congratulations to Tourism Innovation Summit for bringing all the important um, uh, players together, for bringing all the top leaders of the tourism industry together, to, be, uh, to bring together all the technology providers because tourism needs a lot of uh, innovation. So big congratulations and also big congratulations to the administration of Andalusia and Sevilla for supporting this event. Uh, and uh, I have to say that uh, coming for the third time, because I was also in another uh, event in 2019, so coming for the third time in Sevilla, I'm starting to feel like home. Así que puedo decir que Sevilla es un poco mi casa y espero que no sabe, no sé, pero en futuro a lo mejor puedo nombrarme como ciudadana de Sevilla. <laughs> Muchas gracias.